Exciting times in Boston with the Red Sox in the World Series. Meanwhile, the Northeastern women's basketball program is coming off of a breakthrough season. Joined by the head coach, Daniel LaForce. And you guys improved by nine wins yes. a season ago, 17 and 13 on the year. How do you catapult off of the momentum of that and continue to build upon it this year? Right. Well, we've always been in the process of building the program. And now that we've taken this step, we know that there's another step that we need to take to get to the top. Um, you know, winning is definitely very important but now we want to win the championship you know we're lo really looking to step it up this year in a lot of different ways and, and in a lot of different categories what do you think the difference maker was for you last season to make such a turnaround and you were named coach of the year in the CAA for your efforts right I think leadership played a key role for us um, we were able to establish some key captains last year who really set the tone um, by example not only on the court but off the court as well and this year we'll co we continue to have great leadership as well so you know leadership is one of the founding the building blocks of our program and we really hang our hat on that so I think that really helped us you know make that that the next step in our program and, and getting some really key wins last season. Who are your leaders this year? We have Elise Mark and uh, Mency Mercier, um, two juniors for us this year, um, both uh, team captains um, but also leaders on the court. I think uh, Mency will be a lot more confident with scoring this year for us and Elise is just an all-around player on both the offensive and defensive end um, and off the court they're both doing the right things and setting the tone for the freshmen and um, you know as our leadership continues to grow and get better I think uh, the championship will be next. Elise Mark, a point guard, they seemed to really come on as you got into conference play, got stronger as that year moved forward. Four assists per game. Can she build upon that and, and kind of go to the next level this year on the floor? Oh, definitely. Um, she just did a, such a nice job over the summer of really getting prepared for this junior season and her leadership role. Um, you know, she's, she's, she's going to continue to shoot the ball very well, continue to get to the rim, continue, continue to shoot at a high percentage from the free throw line. But overall, just getting her, her teammates more involved and uh, doing the little things, rebounding a little bit more for us. Um, um, you know, and being the one we go to in the end of the game, I think she's really looking forward to being that type of player for us. In your non-conference schedule, you face Rutgers early in November. And uh, see Vivian Stringer, what can we say about her right. that's not awesome? How big of a challenge is that going to be for your team to prepare for that kind of challenge early in the season? Right. Well, my, my recruiting, I mean, my um, conference uh, philosophy is always to, non-conference philosophy is always to play key opponents during that time to prepare for conference. So this is going to be no different. Playing a team like Rutgers, very high intensity on the defensive end will really help us really perfect our dribble drive offense. Um, getting to the rim and, and really scoring against such a team of, you know, very high, good athletes and quick players will really help us, you know, prepare for that kind of, um, you know, what we'll see during the season. And one player that's going to help you play that tough non-conference slate, and then once you get into CAA action is Jewel Tunstall. Yes. She's big. She can score the ball. Right. 12 and a half points per game, but a 55% shooter from the floor. What makes her so efficient offensively? Right. It's really her humility. She doesn't really know how good she is, and we have to remind her of that every single day, how important she is to the program. Um, you know, but she's just really effective uh, because she's surrounded by great shooters and great players that love to give her the ball because they know she can score the ball. But her game has just really grown over the years. Um, she, I mean, she does stuff in practice and all you hear is ooh and ah when she's making her moves. But she's very happy. She's com comfortable in her role. And she's just looking forward for that all, you know, play of the year um, accolade at the end of the year. And I think her being driven by taking the next step and being a really premier player in the league will really help her overall game and help us win. How would you gauge the adjustment of your freshmen so far? Right. Um, it's been a little tough for them, but we, like I said, we have great leadership and great role models. They're always being told the right things to do every moment of the day, so it's really hard for them to, to mess up. But, um, you know, we recruited the, the right kids into the right program, for you know, especially on the offensive end. They fit the dribble drive, so it's easy for them to come in and do what they're capable of doing. We don't have to break too many things down, break bad habits, because they, they fit the offense pretty perfectly. So that, you know, we're going to really look, you know, to them to them to step in and they really get some key minutes and really be able to contribute to what we're trying to do this year. Cassidy Stewart is one of those players that went through the growing pains of being a freshman a year ago. Yeah. She showed some real promise near the end of that campaign. Is she poised for a breakout sophomore season? Definitely. She's very excited. She's been working hard since she's been back on campus. Um, she's very confident with shooting three and getting to the basket. Her leadership has also stepped up a bit, even though she's not a captain. You know, she's just a great kid, and when you're a great kid, you know, being a great player just fits right in with that.
What would you say your biggest challenge will be this season for your team, and what kind of philosophy would you like for them to buy into? Because every year is different. Right. I think the fact that we have new kids and new roles, um, having everyone step up and be ready for when their number is called and be ready to play and give some quality minutes, um, I think that's going to be key for them. And I prepare you know, everyone 1-12 to 12 to be that player for us when it counts. And I think the more that they get used to stepping up and being ready, the better off they'll be. You know, our motto this year is do work. And it doesn't matter if you're the first five or anybody else you have to come in and you have to do work and it starts on the practice floor so you're ready when your, your number is called love that yeah that, that's a great <laughs> philosophy to have the breakthrough campaign last year with the 17 wins did that help you on the recruiting trail during this offseason did oh. you find some more interest when you went out to the definitely high school? it was easy to recruit I got verbals before <laughs> I knew it I was like oh okay you want to come great all right let's go um, it definitely helps winning definitely helps and um, I think that was the last piece to our success as a program we really started to we needed to transition all our hard work into wins and that's what happened last year so definitely recruiting was a lot easier what do you do for an encore after that nine win improvement? How, do you, how high do you set the bar this year? Um, you know what, very high. You know, we have all, a player of the year candidate on our team in Jules Tunstall. We have players who want to make the all conference teams as, you know, a, even rookie, rookie, all, the all rookie team. You know, we want to hold up the trophy for the championship at the end of the year. Coach of the year was great. All conference players were, were great, but we're, we're taking the next step and we're growing and growing. And we have to set our minds on those goals early in order for it to happen at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Coach Daniel LaForce, good luck this Thank season. Thank you very much.